As soon as I select the tool, a box pops up where I can type in a value. Watch as I roll my pointer over corners where two lines intersect. You can see a preview of the sketch fillet. I'll click to add it, and the tool stays active so I can continue breaking other sharp corners. This time, I'll select two lines, and when I hover over the second line, Inventor shows the preview. I'll click again to add it. Notice Inventor only added one dimension for both of these fillets. That's because I have the equal button pressed. As long as it's selected like this, Inventor is actually adding an equal geometric constraint between the fillets. This is nice, because oftentimes fillets use a typical value, and if the radius needs to change, it often needs to change everywhere. In order to give one of these intersections a unique radius, I'll deselect the equal button, type in a new value, and click on the two lines. When I do, the fillet is added, along with a new dimension value that drives it. Watch as I change the value for the first fillet. The other fillets update along with it. But what if I actually wanted both of the fillets on the bottom to always be equal? To do this, I must break the equal relationship it has with the first dimension. So I'll press the Show Constraints button on the toolbar and select the fillet. This shows all of the fillet's constraints. You can see the two tangent constraints that every fillet like this has, as well as the equal constraint flag. I'll click on the equal flag, and you can see both arcs highlight. To get rid of the constraint, I'll press Delete on the keyboard. Now at this point, I can click and drag the arc to change its size. To make both of the bottom fillets the same size, I'll click the Equal Constraint tool, and then click on both fillets. Once the constraint is added, the dimension of the bottom fillet will control both, since they're constrained to stay equal to each other. When I change the dimension, you can see both fillets update. 